Hello everyone, welcome to my face. Here we are in a room where I'll give you an update on everything that's happening in my life. I wanted to make a video where I can sort of tell you everything that's going on. So here we go. Here's an update on my life, boxing, and my channel. Let's start with my life. I just moved back down to Los Angeles from Portland. I was in Portland. If you didn't know, I've been in Portland for the past year and a half. I went there during Corona to sort of get away, to do something different. And when I was up there is when Creator Clash happened and I uh, met my boxing coach up there and that's where he lives. So I stuck around throughout Creator Clash to finish my training, do the fight. And now I finally moved back down in September. So here I am in LA, but I'm gonna be going back up to Portland uh, in a couple weeks, um, and you can keep up to date on that. If you watch my Twitch, I'll be streaming uh, most nights on Twitch. But anyways, I've moved back down to LA. I'm auditioning again, I'm filming things. I'm gearing up for the filming of my film, Neutral. If you've seen the 22 minutes that's on this channel, it's a short film, but it's also the very beginning of a full feature film, an hour and a half film. And I plan on finishing that next year, making the full film complete. There's more that happens at the end of that. That's just the beginning of the story. So uh, I've already started working on very, very early production stuff on that. That'll be hopefully next summer when I'm filming, summer or fall. So I'm back here just sort of doing what I've always done, filming, streaming, auditioning, and grinding away. Now we'll address what's going on with me and boxing. I'm sure most of you have seen, I boxed in Creator Clash last uh, May and as dad and I won and I'm gonna be doing it again. I can't say who my opponent is. That will be announced when uh, Ian and Anissa announce that. Uh, but I am allowed to say that I am fighting in Career Clash 2. I started training in August. I mentioned a moment ago how I'm gonna be doing some fight camps. I'm gonna do a fight camp with my coach in a couple weeks up in Portland, and then again early in the new year, and then a super uh, fight camp uh, for 10 weeks leading up to the fight. And in the meantime, I'm also in LA uh, at LAKO, and uh, that's where I go most of the time. I've been training with my friend, John Morrison. Um, and this, I'm, what I'm about to say, sort of leads into my channel and upcoming videos. But I'm starting a boxing vlog series that will lead all the way up to Creator Clash. So there'll be episodes here on this channel documenting my training. Uh, John Morrison, who a lot of you might know, who's a wrestler, John Hennigan, um, he uh, was in my corner during Creator Clash last year and he boxes himself for exercise so yeah i actually boxed with him a couple times i hit mitts with him uh leading up to creator clash so we've been doing it for exercise together and it's been really fun now that i'm back in la um and i'll have a, a video coming out soon the first boxing vlog that's coming out uh shows me and john we, we went to a couple of gyms we went to lako and then we went and trained with uh, a guy he knows named josh barnett who is like a famous ufc fighter i don't know don't know too much about ufc but um, I've heard of that guy because it's the same name as my brother. So uh, I've been very active. I'm training all the time here in Los Angeles and then I'm doing really extensive training with my coach. And if you guys have Instagram or TikTok, you should definitely follow my coach because he's gonna be putting up uh, some BTS stuff of us training, him training me. Um, and if you are interested in boxing, he's legit the best coach I've ever met and worked with. The guy's awesome, his name's Josh and he truly made me a madman in the ring. Uh, we're gonna focus on my form for next fight, power, uh, just tighten up. So we're really focusing on things, taking it very seriously. We've been training since August. We're gonna go from August all the way to the fight in the spring. So uh, I'm very pumped about it. I absolutely love boxing. So this fight I can say will be a real fight. Last fight wasn't, but uh, this fight won't go the same way. My opponent will fight back. So it will be, it'll be a good one. I hope you guys watch. I can't say much else. So yeah, that's pretty much what's happening with me and my boxing. And now I feel I should address what's happening with my channel. Nothing alarming. I don't want to sound like I'm about to say something big or anything, but I'm making some slight changes. Uh, I'm still making stuff as usual. Uh, I think next year I hit 18 years on YouTube, which is pretty crazy that I'm like nearing two decades on YouTube. You wouldn't know it by my subscribers, <laughs> but I, hey, beggars can't be choosers. So I'm happy for anyone who does watch. I know my stuff is all over the map, uh, one thing I've learned, you can't really do too many things if you want to succeed and get a big following and big views on things. If you do one thing per channel, you'll do well because the audience knows what to expect. I just can't do one thing because I like so many things. I kind of go crazy if I just did one thing. I'm now putting out Minecraft videos. I'm putting out true crime ghost story videos, uh, boxing vlogs. The main thing I'm trying to say is 
I'm gonna focus on my boxing vlogs, my grave stories, spooky videos. I would like to keep making more Minecraft videos, even though I know most of the audience does not care. I really love making them, they're very fun. So I'll, I'll probably gonna continue doing that. And to all the old fans who have been wanting some comedy and um, some of my old characters, rest assured, I'm revitalizing and reviving one of my old characters, Trail Louse, Skittel spokesperson. I have a new idea, a completely different concept for a trail. It'll be a talk show with Trail Louse and he'll be interviewing strangers. I've been wanting to do this since like 2015. It'll be a talk show basically with Trail Louse and he's a psychopath and a lunatic and he's interviewing real people who are like, what's up with this dude? So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So there you go. That's pretty much everything that's happening with me. And I also stream very often on Twitch. Uh, Twitch channel is called Dad Feels. There will be on the Dad YouTube channel, a 12 hour stream where Dad, the robot man, will dance for 12 hours nonstop on December 12th. So on 12-12, there'll be 12 hours of nonstop dancing. Once he starts moving, he will not stop and it'll be live and you can chat with him on the Dad main YouTube channel. So. Those are some things that are coming up and that's where I'll be live. Thank you for listening. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the comments. You see me hearting every single one and replying. So please watch all the videos, watch the ones you like, hang out with me on streams. Thank you for knowing who I am and knowing I exist and stick around with me for so long. I appreciate it. Goodbye.